Hello everyone, I'm Dragons After Dark, and today is day two of Critter Week. So I made four teams ahead of time today, and to just kind of give a brief overview of each one, this one's going to be a leeching team. So with a little avoidance, we've got Immolation with Portal, Bone Barrage with Death Grip, and then Felt Immolate and Wild Magic with Wing Buffet. So it's leech and avoid basically this one i have a sandstorm team so we've got drafty he's pretty speedy he also has an avoidance with wind buffet wild wind's not going to be super fantastic but it's it's more to just maybe get something on there or clean up at the end i chose renishu runt mostly because its sandstorm hits pretty hard, but it also has focus, which will mitigate the mischances of sandstorm that you might usually see. Because it doesn't matter for drafty, because they're elementals, so the mischances don't apply to them. And then for the Akir Tunneler, it has a lot of power, so this sandstorm's going to hit pretty hard. I also have Shell Shield up to help mitigate even more damage, and then we'll have Claw over here because it's not very fast, so I didn't want to pick Flurry, so I slotted Claw instead. This one's kind of a Black Claw team. It was I was talking about Sharp Claw yesterday, how trying to set up Black Claw and Unholy Ascension probably not super fantastic, but what I'm going to do here is I'll probably use Black Claw and the team damage and then I might try to like sit here on this one until one of the teams kills it. It's going to depend on whether they have AoE or not, whether or not I unholy ascension right away or if I just sit and wait for cooldown. This one, Void Glower, the, uh, the SS breed is super duper speedy so it doesn't have a whole lot of health. But we are going to see Blinding Poison along with a Team Poison. And then I've got Poison Lash slotted, which does damage and then also applies a dot. And then kind of the same thing for Kovac. I've got Kovac slotted mostly because I've got the HS breed. So it's, it tops out at 305 speed, which is pretty decent. Not fantastic considering how fast most of the pets are today. But okay. And then I've got Black Claw, Pheromones for some backline damage, and then Poison Fang to just kind of poison. So this one's sort of Black Claw poison-ish. And then this one's just going to be a straight poison team. I've got the Terachnid Ambusher with Toxic Fumes. I don't have the fastest breed. Honestly, I thought about going out and trying to farm up a, a faster or the SS breed. However... The Xerath Mortis pets can be a little wonky <laughs> to try and find, so I might do that later, but we've got 305 speed, so not, not perfect, not horrendous. And then Toenail's going to see the benefit from Toxic Fumes with that Sludge Claw, Avoidance with Meat Hook, and then Bone Bite's going to hit pretty hard. I didn't see too many Aquatics in the queue yesterday, so I'm... I'm betting on more humanoids being in the queue than aquatic, so that's why I have Bone Bite here. And then I have the SS Death Adder Hatchling, which is super speedy, and we're going to have Blinding Poison. Vicious Fang gets that instant build to max damage when poisons are up, and then also relying on Puncture Wound for having the Toxic Fumes up. And that's it, so I'm going to start with the Leeching Avoidance team today, and... Let's queue up. Hopefully the queue's as quick as it was yesterday. And there it is. So let's hit accept. Okay. Heart racing. Fingers crossed. <laughs> let's do this. Alright. We will start with the rebellious M. I feel like we went against this team yesterday. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go ahead and apply the dot. This. 
that's fine. Dot or not. <laughs> Trying to get the dot applied. <laughs> no sleep, hooray. And let's go ahead and force swap it. Yay. Little bling's back in. He's probably gonna go ahead and just try to kill us straight away. Yeah, I figured that's what was gonna happen. Okay, so what we're gonna do we're going to reset immolate burn and then we're gonna portal again <clears throat> and then we are going to hit our bone barrage. And then we are faster than the monkey, so he's probably got clobber. But he's alright, that's cool. We can do that. Maybe clobber's gonna be the next one. Oh no, he's just trying to go straight for the kill. Okay, that's that's totally fine. We're gonna toss. And we do do reduce damp. Why would you waste clobber on that? That's curious. And then we're just gonna go ahead and burn. And that's it. That one turned out pretty good, I would say. I'm not quite sure why they wasted their clobber there. Since we were faster, I definitely would have I would have used clobber against a different, I would have used it differently personally. Um, let's, let's just, let's just rotate through. We're just gonna rotate through that way. Even if we come up against the same team over and over again, we are not the same team. Does that make sense? So let's hit find battle. All right, let's accept. We are probably gonna start out with Drafty no matter what. Mostly because of how fast he is. Oh, <laughs> oh it's Sandstorm versus Sandstorm. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna, this is gonna be funny. All right, so just because we're hashtag petty, we're gonna win Buffett first just to get him out. Cause I don't, I don't want him having the, the one that he wants in, if that makes sense. Obviously the living sandling hits a little harder. Um, we are gonna swap to our Akir Tunneler actually. That's fine, I'm already slower. We're gonna shell shield. We're gonna claw. I knew they were gonna deflect. Okay, and we're gonna hit Sandstorm. We may miss, that's okay. Because the Akir Tunneler is definitely not gonna see. Okay, we didn't miss. They missed, we missed. Uh, let's go ahead and swap back to Drafty. I bet you they are going to deflection. Knew it. That's fine. That's cool. You know what? We're just, they're probably going to sandstorm. Oh, they're not. Weird. I probably would have sandstormed there, but what do I know? Okay. 
not working out perfectly, but I mean, it's not horrible. And okay, so we're one for one. We are down a little further than them. Uh, let's see if we can get Sandstorm going. Ooh, maybe. Okay. All right, they got us. So for this one, we are going to hit focus so that we make sure. <laughs> and that's why we focus. I'm gonna zap because I don't know. I don't want them, I don't know what they have. I don't know if they have rupture. We're going to go ahead and focus again. Dang. This one's going to be close. I knew they were going to deflect. Okay. So we are going... Oop, I hit the mic. I'm so excited I hit the mic. We are going to sandstorm here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Okay, sorry, that one was really close. Sandstorm versus Sandstorm. Um, okay. Alright. Oh, I got my heart rate going a little bit. Moving on, we are going to do our Black Claw team. And we're gonna see how, we're gonna see how this one goes. Uh, the Sandstorm one. It, it turned out okay. I'm definitely glad I had focus with the Renishu Runt. Uh, I like focus not only because it, it makes sure that your hit chance is up and you don't have to worry about missing during Sandstorm, but it also increases your speed. So the Runt goes from 260 to 325, which for a powerhouse like the Runt, yeah, you've got less health, but... For a powerhouse like the Runt, going from 260 to 325 and then hitting with that Sandstorm and Zap, it, it works out really well. I might, when we come back around, I might switch, I might switch the Tunneler out, I might switch Drafty out, we'll have to see. But first we're gonna do our, we're gonna see how this Black Claw team goes. Alright. Oh, we have a Yeti. A dragon. Okay. We're still gonna... I think we're still gonna start with our... We're still gonna start with our sharp claw. <clears throat> That's totally fine. I figured that's what was gonna happen. <clears throat> so we're gonna do that. This isn't going to hit all that much anyway, so basically what I'm doing is I'm going to Unholy Ascension here, and we are going to work with the rest. Obviously the Black Claw didn't get on, I'm not too terribly worried about it. So we're going to do this. We are tr going to try to poison him before he switches out. And we are going to poison protocol. And then hopefully we can get Poison Protocol up before, or sorry, not Poison Protocol. Hopefully we can get Poison Lash going before, yeah, before Decoy. Okay. We're going to go ahead and blind again. I 
I don't know what they're gonna try to use. I don't know what they have. I imagine they have supercharge. Hopefully the blind means that bomb will also miss. I don't know how that's gonna work. Ah, well, thank goodness for that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it, it still hit, but I'm cool with that. Oh, they tried to do ion cannon. Why would you ion cannon while you're blinded? That don't make no sense. <clears throat> okay. This should kill it. And then we're still gonna be faster than the bone biter. So we're going to go ahead and blind. We're going to poison. La oh, they quit. <laughs> okay. I mean, okay, I guess. Um, that one, that one was a win. Um, I know it says battle finished, so I think that means it doesn't, I don't know if it counts if they forfeit. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. Here. There we go. This is how you know that I haven't done any PvP pet battles since I got... Where is it? The Stunted Direhorn. So I haven't done any pet battles since 10 20, 2019. I got my 250 wins and that was it. <laughs> so I got I got five wins yesterday. I've gotten three wins today and then I had tried a team the other day and I got a win with it, which is how I came up with the, the Violet Poultrid. So that's how you know that I have not <laughs> I haven't played PvP since 2019. And jump cut. <laughs> so I will admit that I had to stop for a while so the it's going to cut from doing the battles earlier in the day to now later in the day. We had, I mean, everyone was talking to people on mics over here, but mostly because I was going against the same team at least five or six times and it was a sandstorm team and I just couldn't get ahead of them. So I lost quite a bit earlier. <laughs> I'm, I'm not afraid to admit that, but we are gonna start fresh. We're gonna find some, we're hopefully gonna find some more battles, get teamed up, and hopefully we are not going to see the sandstorm team again. Okay, here we go. I think this is the first time I've had the sound on. That sound is so much better <laughs> than, uh, than the dungeon pop. Oh my gosh, that dungeon pop is crazy. Is he going to clobber me? Okay. I'm not quite sure what I want to do here. Um, we're just going to kind of roll with it. That's fine. Oh, it's just 630. It's not the greatest, but... That gets left there. Oh, my 
Tentacle. Um, we're just gonna pass. That's fine. That's totally okay. Let's see. I think we're gonna come into the M. We're gonna Emily get that going. All right. This one's already going a whole lot better than that Sandstorm team earlier. Not, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> totally not gonna lie about that one. Oh, we're the same speed. That's disappointing. <laughs> I wonder if they're just water jetting me to try to finish. Yeah, probably. Ooh. I mean, well, we still won, but we almost lost almost lost a second pet okay so that one that one went really well again <laughs> um like i said i had a bad time earlier against a triple sandstorm team so it was a void scarred an anubisath and a living sandling and when i brought in when i noticed i got them three times in a row so i won against them once lost against them twice because i was i was moving through different teams uh I I tried to come up with a a counter team and it <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to put it. When I tried to counter them with different weathers, it it didn't work out so well. Basically, they just rotated between all of their sandstorm pets and the I had acid rain. So I, I wasn't doing nearly as much damage as they were, and my abilities were depending on Acid Rain being up, like Dreadful Breath, and then I also tried a Toxic Fumes team, and that didn't, that didn't work out so well either, although I did get, I think I got close a couple times, but on to the next one. Just like earlier, we're going to cycle through the four teams that I put together today. Uh, and yeah, that's about the gist of it. We'll just cycle through them. The only one I haven't seen any success with so far is this one. Like, I won these three. And then I think I came up against... So I had someone else with this team. I had Sandstorm Person with this team and I actually managed to with drafty i managed to win against them i got a different team i got a different team against this one and then from this one through like three or four maybe maybe five battles i just like my rotation just wasn't doing it and at a certain point i was hoping that once they got their five wins they'd leave but you can't guarantee that. Sometimes people just like to sit in the queue with teams like that, especially when they have uh, trash talk names. And just, I don't wanna say make it miserable for other people, but yeah, kind of make it miserable for other people to, to pet battle. It definitely made me realize why when I go on a losing streak, I have to kind of walk away for a little while. And not because I was upset, necessarily just because it's 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 not fun losing five six times in a row I, I feel like most people probably feel like that don't like losing that many times in a row so I wasn't upset it was just the game wasn't fun for me anymore at that point because it's one thing if you're winning one and losing one and winning one and losing one like if you're going back and forth that's one thing like yesterday I was happy I was happy breaking even with my wins and losses but today it was just loss after loss after loss. And no matter what I was changing up, it wasn't working. So I decided to walk away, get a workout, 
I watched the WoW variety stream. That was actually a lot of fun to to watch and listen to. So yeah, just decided to walk away for a little bit and I won the first three. So those ones are gonna be you'll see those three. And then Oh sorry, you'll see those three. And then I I one hundred percent admit that I lost five or six times in a row. I'm just gonna cut those ones out. Don't really serve any purpose except to show that it is definitely possible for me to lose. <laughs> like definitely happens. Uh, I figured admitting it would be nicer than making you sit through it. Okay, next one is up. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, different team. Uh, this one will probably work okay. I don't have any beasts at least. We'll see. We're gonna see how it goes. What is this? Lowest health. Who has lower health? Bonkers. Okay. Mm, I bet you he's gonna build turret. Do we wanna just go ahead and sandstorm? We'll go ahead and sandstorm. That way build turret like does nothing. Yeah, that's what I figured was gonna happen. Oh, is he gonna try to repair? No, okay. I don't know what he's got in slot two, but we're gonna swap him out before he can repair. And we're gonna take this opportunity to swap over to the Renishu run. And then we are going to use this one to focus. To get faster and then we're gonna sandstorm again okay we're gonna sandstorm okay we're stunned that's totally fine we're just gonna pass that's fine too, we survived it. Okay, let's do this. We need to focus again. And then we're gonna zap. So we're still gonna sandstorm to increase the missed chance of Haymaker. Well, he didn't use Haymaker, but that's what I was that's what I was trying to make sure of, because it drops it down to 40. That's okay. This is totally fine. Okay, so it's six, four, okay, so this should just kill bonkers unless he swaps someone out. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Fair enough. This should kill bonkers. <laughs> Unless, again, he swaps someone out. Okay. We don't want to let him repair. Or swap. So the only reason I'm using Wild Winds instead of Slicing Winds is I really hate the RNG of Slicing Winds. Oh, I'm just not using them here. Or they, sorry, I don't know what you are. I mean, your character's female doesn't mean that. I'm gonna hit that. We're gonna let them maybe think. We're gonna kill them here. one of the longer ones. Oops, sorry, I keep hitting my mic. 
Um, and then that did speech damage, and then we never had to bring our tunneler in. Okay. Yay! Alright. That was good. So, in a way, I guess I wasn't, like, any better than the team earlier. Maybe, maybe we'll avoid, maybe we're going to avoid Sandstorm for the rest of the queue. Let's, let's try out our, our Black Claw team. We're going to do Black Claw next. That one's a little, that was a little strong. It's one thing to... I don't want to say just barely win, but when I had a whole pet that I didn't even need to bring in, probably uh, probably just should avoid using that one. I'm kind of trying, like I said yesterday, I'm avoiding shop pets, I'm avoiding TCG pets, I'm avoiding rarer quote unquote pets. And really kind of want to avoid meta pets. I did do Sandstorm earlier. I did Sandstorm again. I guess the like five or six losses in a row against the other Sandstorm team didn't teach me anything because I still did it again just now. But uh yeah, so I think I think we're going to avoid Sandstorm just because it such an outright victory like that just kind of goes to show that the weather needs to be looked at for, especially for PvP reasons. I'm not sure, aside from nerfing all the weather, obviously, the damage amount, the cooldown length, and maybe not all the weather. Like, I don't see anyone complaining about things like acid rain. Or anything like that but taking a look at things like sandstorm I don't know if call lightnings a problem I don't PvP enough to know but definitely sandstorm maybe toxic fumes if if you guys who PvP more often know which ones probably need to look at probably start that discussion in the comments I'm not sure I can say for sure from my experience earlier and then what I just experienced with this team here that having gone over 20 rounds and still having a whole pet that never saw the battle never had to be brought in I, I two petted it I think I think Sandstorm definitely needs to to have a look taken at it, I guess is the best way to put it. So Sandstorm for sure. Now I know there are specific pets that probably need some kind of little bonk from the nerf bat, like Anomalous, which gonna make me cry a little bit. There's gonna be a lot of strategies that we're gonna have to rework if that happens. But at the end of the day, if it's if it's a problem to the extent that it is in, in PvP either, you need to lock it from the queue or probably more likely you need to uh, find a way to balance it a little better. They kind of did that with Void Slap, I think it is. Let's see. <clears throat> No, not Void Slap. Void Nova? Yeah, Void Nova. So they increased... It used to be a two-round cooldown. They increased it to a three-round cooldown. I don't know with a 362 power stat if increasing the cooldown was... I'm sure that was necessary. Increase the cooldown for sure. Three-round cooldown. Totally workable and should probably be the standard for high potentially high hitting team damage abilities or the fact that it's not necessarily a high hitting team damage ability but when combined with its power stat it can it can be painful for sure so I get that it doesn't have a whole lot of health, but it's got that magic buff that really throws a wrench into that concept where 
it's not a pet you can easily take out. Okay. Black Claw team. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Uh, mm, let's start with the Void Glower. We're gonna blind. Oh my god. We're this way. I was like, why is there blinding poison coming from the other side? <laughs> Don't mind me. Inflation, really? Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna hit it for one more round. And then we're gonna swap because I imagine they're either going to have launch rocket or make it rain. We don't want to bring in Kovac. Make it rain. We're going to Black Claw. We're gonna Void Slap. Am I only this one? Mostly. Okay. Okay. Oops. Don't know how this one's gonna go. And this is why I like the super speedy Void Glower. You're not going to find too many pets that are faster than it outside of flyers with their buffs. So if they bring in the Orphan Felbat, I might, I might have an issue. Yeah. So I bet you they're going to drain blood or Black Claw then drain blood. Oh, they're going to Fell Immolate first. Okay. We're gonna poison lash. Maybe now they'll drain blood. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. So we are going to put black claw, and then we are going to void slash. And then once sharp claw dies. What you gonna do? You gonna bubble? I will say we didn't exactly think this through terribly well because pheromones is great. Oh no, it's gonna miss. That sucks. That's okay. Um... I don't think it blocks, yeah. Bubble doesn't block those, so that still works. Uh, so pheromones, we didn't really use it. Like, we still won, but we didn't use pheromones. That one went, that one went a little better. I feel better about that team than I do about that one. So this one's my Toxic Fumes team. Oh, we, I think we had the Death Adder Hatchling in the last spot last time. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. I don't know why I'm walking up to him. Okay. <laughs> Fine battle. Ne next, next one. Let's see what time we're at. Oh. Okay. I think this might be the last one for tonight. Oh. Interesting. Okay. 330. There's no way you're 337 speed. We're gonna start with the Tarachnid Ambusher. Alright, we're gonna start out with Toxic Fumes. I feel like I went against this team yesterday. That's. That crit was lucky. Oh, Magma Trap. See, we avoided that last time because, yeah, we're just going to hit pass. 
because he's just magma waving and they're not taking any exceptional damage from it. So devour the weak. Just because anything less wouldn't have gotten us that kill. I do think this one has, this one doesn't have any weather abilities either. On the other hand, I don't think they're going to be impacted by the, the weather. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna swap to our hatchling. Because I'm don't, I'm not appreciating the magma wave here, so we're gonna do this. I bet you they're. Oh, they didn't swap. That surprises me. Surprises me that they didn't swap. Um. We're probably just gonna let the adder die here. They're probably either gonna ion cannon or call lightning. Yep. Figured that's how that was gonna go. So what we'll do is we're going to sacrifice the ambusher. We're gonna set up toxic fumes. They're probably gonna ion cannon. Oh no, they just metal fisted. Okay, I mean that works, I guess. Um, let's see, what do we want to do? Mm, I don't know if it does it all as one. Ah, uh, it does it do it all as one, okay. <laughs> and this was a good pet to bring in last against the mechanical yeti, just because it's doing weak damage against us, because it's mechanical against an elemental. And see, this fight felt better than the sandstorm team. 100% felt better. <laughs> like, that fight actually felt really good. So that's four, five, six, seven. Seven wins. I think, let me look where I'm at on my. Okay, we're at 263. Let's try to get two more wins today. I, I think that'll be good. Let's try to get two more wins. Um, you know, let's, let's do this team again. Let's do, let's do this team again. I don't know if we'll get, I don't know if we'll get two more wins. It's, it, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Because if we can just if we can just get to 265, that'd be nice. All right, two more wins, two more wins. Oh, oh my! Okay, right, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Sorry, I'm not talking, I'm just thinking way too hard about this. <laughs> okay, so I knew I wanted to swap to the Curious Perkin to avoid that Whirlpool hit. We're gonna swap over to our Bellwing Buzzer again. I don't, okay, he's still, he's still kind of speedy. I don't have, oh no, that's, 
Right. The weather is reducing my dots because it sucks. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, sorry. I'm clicking because I'm like, come on, let's go. Let's get this done. That's totally fine. You're stuck here anyway. So we are going to Rolling Talons. Mall. And we will peck until the violent culture dies. Okay, so they don't have, they've got Whirlpool. That's fine. So yeah, I switched over there for that, then I switched back. I totally forgot that, <laughs> that cleansing rain reduces the, it reduces the rounds of your dots by one. So instead of having, what is it? Instead of having four rounds on my bleed, I only had three rounds on my bleed. So I thought I had time to swap to the foul wing buzzer, great sting, wing buffet, and then get over to like the perkin and feast. And it didn't work out, but it worked out. We still managed to win there. I did reset my ratings on these. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. They were incredibly pitiful and that's why they got reset. And that's, that's really all there is to it. Same team. Uh, I don't know who they are going to start with, but none of these are terribly speedy. So let's start with the Raven. We're gonna moon dance. And then we will swap over to our, look at that. We're gonna moon dance. And then we're just gonna hit with this one until this round. They're still gonna hit us. I don't wanna get trapped here, so we're gonna go ahead and swap to the Blight Breath. Him getting trapped here is fine. <clears throat> Now, it is going to make his tidal wave stronger, however, we're doing super strong damage against the Chrominius with Dreadful Breath, so if they want to use that at all, they're going to need to bring it in, otherwise Dreadful Breath is just going to eat through them, and then our Acid Rain is still doing extra damage against the Water Spirit. And then hopefully this doesn't crit. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, no crit, good. And we're pretty much gonna die just in time to get uh, the Cobalt Raven back in here for Moon Dance. So that'll be good. And then we can swap over to our Hop Wing. That's fine, you can keep healing. And then he's going to eat that. I don't really have any force pet swap stuff. But that's okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the curious oracle hatchling because it can cleanse off whirlpool. 
And then once the back line dies, Dreadful Breath is going to hit for its full amount, pretty much, and that'll be nice. And then we will finish Dreadful Breathing just in time to remove the Whirlpool debuff. So that'll be, that'll be really nice. Six two eighty one. We're just gonna punch. Okay, yep, one more punch, and then we healed up a little bit because it's humanoid. And that is it. That's our last fight for the night. And, no, is it? Is it our last fight for the night? I think it is. Yes, okay, we hit 265. Happy ducks. We can get out of the queue, because I think that was the same person two or three times in a row. So we can leave the queue, stop bothering them. <laughs> okay, so that's not too bad. So I think total today I got nine wins and five or six losses the losses were admittedly frustrating because it it was against the same team and i nothing i was doing was fixing it so instead of getting upset or continuing when maybe they were doing more than their five for their weekly i just got up walked away did some stuff and then came back later so that's going to be it for me tonight. That was, this is day two of Critter Week and PvP Pet Battles. It, it was a bit of a lopsided day, I'm not gonna lie. Started out three wins in a row, five or six losses, and then six wins. Very lopsided, but some days are just gonna be like that. So, thank you for hanging out with me today. Thank you for tolerating my PvP mediocrity, as it were. And yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic day or night, depending on where you are in the world. And until next time, happy battling!